Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new L40 budget-friendly motors from T-Motor. In this video I'm going to test them on my front end and soon I'm also going to feature them on the build video. The T-Motor L40 is a 2305 2450 kV motor. It can handle like batteries between 3 to 4 cells and by calling it a budget-friendly motor I mean in terms of T-Motor, normally the racing motors from T-Motor are priced at around $25 and the L40 is priced at around $18. Inside the box, along with the motor, you're getting one motor nut, four M3 screws with a total length of 9.5mm, so you're only getting four, no extra ones unfortunately, but you are given one set of washer and M2 screws that are used for securing the motor bell, so even though this is a budget-friendly motor, it's still not using a stick clip, and replacing the motor bell is pretty easy. The quality of the motor itself looks and feels pretty good and I wouldn't expect less from T-Motor. The silicone wires are 20 AWG wires with a total length of 15 centimeters which is pretty much standard and the weight of the motor including the motor nut is 29.4 grams. After this short introduction the next thing I'm going to do is to test the T-Motor L40 on my motor thrust stand using 3 and 4 cell type of batteries and using different type of 5 inch propellers. So I hope you enjoyed the test and I will see you in a bit in order to go over the results. So overall the T-Motor L40 looks like a pretty powerful and efficient motor. Not surprisingly, the best results were measured using the Dalprop T5544 propeller. When I tested it on 3 cells type of battery, the maximum measured thrust result was 940 grams and when using the 4 cells type of battery, it was 1360 grams. I was also impressed with its performance using the Gemfan 5149 propeller and according to my test results, it performed better than the Dalprof 5249 propeller and as always, I'm going to leave a link down below to the full test results and if you'd like, you can examine it later. According to the specifications of the motor, it can handle 36 ampere continuously for a minute and after testing it out on my motor thrust stand, I can estimate that it can handle also 5S lab batteries, but I'm not 100% sure because I still didn't test it out. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, soon I'm going to feature this motor on the build video, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this motor specifically, or about motors in general, or you have any suggestions for testing motors, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.